Welcome to another OpenTunes tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to export vector art created in OpenTunes in an SVG format so that you can use it in programs like Inkscape or Illustrator or any other program that uses vector. So by default, if we just draw something here and we try to export it, the only options it brings up, uh, where's that export level, we can do bitmap, we can do JPEG, PNG, we can do all raster, but there's no export option to export it as an SVG. This might change in the future to have a more simple option, but for the time being, there's sort of, it's not really a workaround, it's just not super um, intuitive. What you have to do is go into browser and actually navigate to that drawing. And then we go to, we find the actual uh, drawing, which is, in this case, it actually needs to be a PLI file. Then we right click and go to convert, and then we convert this to an SVG. So that's kind of a fast process. I'm going to go through and show you it step by step. But just if you want to see the, the whole thing quickly, that's it. I'm going to do a time lapse here and draw a quick scene, and then I'll show you how to export it. The first thing we need to actually do, since I'm in my sandbox, it's going to be a lot easier to find if I have it in a project. So I'm going to actually go to New Project, and I'll just call this project TJ Test, and we'll go OK. And it says where to put all the all these different uh, things, drawings and scenes. So we'll just leave that the same way. We'll discard the scene we have, and we'll create this new project. So now I have a brand new project, and I'll also get a new level. So we'll go New Level, make sure it's a Tunes Vector level, and we'll call this uh, SVG Test. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to speed up the video and do a time lapse here of creating the scene. Okay, so I have my scene created here now. I just have a single drawing under level SVG test, and it's in my whole brand new project. So I'm just going to go File and go to Save All, and that should save everything here under TJ Test. So the name of this scene I'll just call uh, my test, my tests. How about perfect? All right, so everything's saved here. Oh, and I should have showed you that uh, directory too, but we can really find it, and we need to go over here anyway in the browser room or tab. So now I have a couple different projects. The one I'm working in has this red dot by it, and it's called TJ Test. And if I go to my drawings, I now see this SVG Test.pli. So this .pli is like a OpenTunes project file or a, a drawing file, and it's kind of similar to an SVG file. We just need to convert it over. And we see where this is. My project root directory is home here. It's in the .config. So we can actually go to this location, which is what I'm going to do right now. So if I bring up my home folder and I go into my .config, I have to actually change something here so I can show hidden files. And I'll just go into .config. This is on Linux. might be similar on Mac as well, but on Windows it'll be a little different. And I need to find OpenTunes in here. If you see some glitching on my screen, it's because my screen is a 1440p widescreen. And I haven't quite figured out how to capture 1080p without getting a little bit of some glitching happening. Stuff and then projects. So now I can actually find this location. I can go into TJ Test and find these drawings. So sure enough, there's this PLI, PLI file. If I right click on it, I have my standard operating system options. But if I move this out of the way now, and I right click on it from within OpenTunes, it comes up with the option to convert. So now I go to convert, and I just leave everything the same that it says here. SVG is the only option I can convert to. There's a few options here I can change as far as that, but I'll just leave this the same, and I'll go convert, and now all of a sudden I have an SVG file here as well. So I can right click on this SVG file and go open with other application, oh, so it has a dot in it for some reason, I need to rename it, my, op my computer's not liking this, so I'll just get rid of that dot, and now it should show up as an SVG, I can right click, and now I can open it with Inkscape. So here we go. I just opened this SVG in Inkscape. Let's take a look and see how it worked. So I'm seeing right off the bat, the strokes aren't coming over, the black strokes that it had. And also this was a, a brush. Well, the whole thing I can move around and it's grouped. If I hit Control Shift G, I can ungroup it. So it looks like all these paths are different. And are they actual paths? I'm, yeah, they're, it actually is paths, not objects. So it just brought over all the paths. I can turn the stroke back on if I want to and give it like a black stroke, uh, control Z. I think I can, why isn't it not letting me do that? 
I don't know, I'll have to play with this a little bit and see. I'm actually just kind of figuring this out. And so there is a little bit of, of intercompatibility between Inkscape and Illustrator and OpenTunes. Like gradients don't like to show up as, as well. What is this? Looks like this cut. So wherever that path was, it actually cut this. So, but you can, you know, we can do, we can come over here and merge some of this stuff together. We can go object and we can merge or, you know, um, do union on those. But I just want to show you, this did bring over some information for this SVG file that we could put in a web browser or bring it into other programs. So just be aware that that is kind of a workaround option for now. I expect it to be um, maybe more intuitive in the future for doing this. But uh, that is one way you can get an SVG file out of OpenTunes with some of that vector information still attached. So hopefully that you found this informative. Um, go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.